What's going on everybody? I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. In today's training, what we're gonna be going over is hormones versus weight loss. So if you're watching this, I'm gonna make a few assumptions. It's probably because randomly you've noticed this instant weight gain, right? You, your body is not feeling the way it's usually feeling. Uh, maybe your cycle and things are starting to change in your body, right? <clears throat> so I'm assuming that's why you're here watching this um, is hormones versus weight loss, all right? So today we're gonna break down just a few different hormones and the reasons why our bodies go through these changes, what happens. Um, and how we can get our hormones balanced and back on track so we can lose weight long term and keep it off. Okay, so if you have any questions, as always, just drop them down below in the comments. And other than that, let's jump into today's training. So first and foremost, I want to talk about is so what typically happens for women is, I mean, if, all throughout your stages of your life, I mean, your, your body's going to go through changes, but typically like after the 20s are over, um, even after the 20s, like your metabolism starts to change. And then once you get into your 40s, though, is typically where you'll find like your cycle will start to change and like your hormones will really start changing. Your body's going to really start going through some changes and slowly getting ready for menopause, um, which typically happens years later. OK, so as this happens. One of the things that's going to occur after around your 40s is typically your estrogen levels are going to start to take a dip. Okay, estrogen, testosterone, um, but for one, we'll talk about mostly just your estrogen levels are going to start to take a dip, and uh, that's natural. And what happens though is when your estrogen does take a dip and it starts to drop, um, typically there's a few things that are going to happen. The number one reason, probably why you notice some weight gain and uh, maybe feeling weaker, less energy, stuff like that, is because of your muscle mass. Okay, and what I mean by that is what happens when your estrogen levels take a dip, your muscle mass will slowly start to decline as well. Okay, so after about the age of 40, we could say I think your muscle mass slowly declines about 1% or so per year or something along the lines there. The problem with that though, is that if we start to lose our muscle mass, what's going to happen is our metabolisms are always still going to crash as well. Okay, and that's where the huge difference is is, you know, let's say, you know, you, you hit your 40s and through your 30s and everything, you could always, you know, eat whatever you want, you do whatever you want, you'll never gain weight. But then after your 40s or 50s, like suddenly this this weight is just so such a battle now, right? And it's typically because of your metabolism. Okay, that, that would be the majority of the reason. So loss of muscle mass. And then what happens after that is metabolism starts to go down. Okay, now there are other reasons as well. Um, another one I believe is your hunger hormones. So this would be your ghrelin. Okay, and what happens is when your hormones are going through changes and everything, your body is starting to change is that you might get more hungry, you might have different kind of cravings and stuff. And uh, that typically could cause you to eat more food, which causes weight gain. Okay, so that's another reason is just feeling more hungry. And then the last one too, is your thyroid um, can change over time. Okay, so it can kind of slow down. And um, this is like people with hypothyroidism, right? So your thyroid can actually slow down. And over time, as we age, and what happens there is that number one, our energy levels start to dip. Okay, so our energy levels start to dip. And also typically your metabolism starts to dip as well, or your metabolism will dip uh, if your thyroid slows down. Okay, so that's um, typically like that's exactly what I want to pinpoint on today is these three and uh, and talk about these because they're kind of all connected together. Okay, one thing I want to point out is a lot of people think that you know they have to do these magical things to get their hormones balanced and back on track, and they have to, you know, eat, like be very extreme, restricted, and specific, and everything. But really, like the stuff I'm going to tell you today is the stuff that I tell you all the time, and and it's about just getting the little things right, and that's why I I stress it every single training that if you want to make a change, if you want to seriously make a transformation happen, it's all about getting the little things right. And by getting those little things right, it helps with your hormones, your weight loss, your mental health, lifestyle, you know, your, your calendar, your structure, your, your routine, everything. So it's important to get these little things down. Okay, so that's typically what happens though. So if you're wondering what was going on with your body, why these changes were happening when it comes to your weight loss, and when it comes to weight gain, and after you hit 40 and hormones and everything, these are typically the ones that you want to focus on. So 
And we take a step back and we look at it. Now we realize like, okay, so if the problem is for this weight gain, is it because of our metabolism's change? And because of loss of muscle mass, loss of energy, um, then that's what we gotta focus on, right? That's the, the three things we gotta focus on getting boosted back up so that way we can balance our hormones and make these changes happen, okay? So starting out, number one is, since your metabolism is slowed down, it means you're not burning as many calories per day anymore, which means you're not burning as many calories, right? So since that's the case, now the, the, what you'd wanna do is, consume less calories, okay? So now you're gonna wanna to start to consume less calories, bringing in less food per day, so that way you can match that metabolism or get in a caloric deficit so you can actually see weight loss progress. Now, some things to actually do that is high fiber, okay? So fill up on the fiber, so like leafy greens and stuff like like that, like uh, definitely is gonna be key. Um, you know, getting your fruits, your veggies, all that in, very, very low calories filling as well. But number one is getting more fiber in because if you're gonna eat less calories, your stomach has to adjust to that and, um, and, and you don't wanna feel hungry all the time and everything, right? So fill yourself up high fiber. The next thing is good, high quality protein. Okay, not the processed crap that you're buying at, in like, you know, if you buy it, like, let's say you go to a Sobeys or something like that, and you open up the freezers and they got the, <clears throat> they got the boxes of uh, chicken strips and stuff, but that's not, that's not protein. That's not your good protein. You want to leave that there. Instead, go get something that's high quality protein for yourself, and that's going to help tremendously. Okay, high protein, typically it's gonna be lower in calories than any other meal that you're gonna eat. It's gonna keep you full longer so you eat less food and it's gonna work with your hunger hormones because it's gonna be full longer. Uh, the next thing is, so yeah, low calories and uh, keep you full longer, but lastly is it's gonna help with your muscle mass, okay? Because, um, you know, your muscle mass is gonna start to go down. So it's important to get that high quality protein in as well to help with your muscle mass. And that leads me to the next thing, Okay, that we need to do, and that's get our energy levels up and build back our our muscles and our strength, right? And the best way to do that is working out. So three times per week, as I always say, you can go two times per week if you want. Go two times per week, hard as you can, um, and uh, and do full body, and that's going to allow you to maintain. Okay, but if you want to see some progress three times per week. If you wanna go even more, four or five, it, it's totally up to you what's gonna be realistic, but don't go zero to 100 because that's not sustainable if you do it like that um, most of the time. So I would say ultimately though, just getting activity in, okay? So starting out with just getting activity in, moving your body more, going for more walks, getting into that active lifestyle. If you want more energy, you gotta push your body to do things so that way you can have more energy long term um, rather than not having energy and then not doing anything about it and then your energy getting worse, if that makes sense. So <clears throat> working out, strength training, uh, I'd recommend definitely, that's gonna help boost your metabolism, it's gonna help build back your strength and keep your muscle mass on so that way you can back to being that fat uh, burning machine, okay? so. That's it there. Now, the next things I would say is make sure you're eating whole foods, you know, cut out the, the crap food that is not real. Have that balance there. Like same thing with alcohol consumption and everything. Everything's okay in moderation, but that's the key word is we need moderation. We need proper balance. We can't be abusing it or overdoing it if we want to make these changes happen, get our hormones on track and not have to worry about any of the consequences or anything like that. So whole foods is the next thing. Now, the next thing after that is sleeping properly, okay? So this last one is sleeping properly. You gotta make sure that you're getting your sleep in at night because that can affect your hormones, can affect your cortisol, can affect your hunger hormones as well. And we wanna set ourselves up for success. So make sure, if you're a woman watching this or, read, or listening to this, uh, make sure that you're getting in about nine hours of sleep per night. And that's a, that's a good target to range for, okay? So that is pretty much it though for today's training. Very straight to the point, okay? And uh, and it's what you need to know. So again, there's no magic pill behind this. There's nothing like like the, the percentage of people who actually need to hop on like hormone replacement therapy for women specifically is very, very low. There's no special key or anything like that. It's about getting the little things right. If you can get the little things right when it comes to your journey, then everything else will fall into place. And it's like a cycle, I always say, you know, if you're tired, if you're eating like crap, if you're not sleeping well and you have excess weight, like it's all a cycle of how you're gonna be feeling every single day. But if you wanna feel truly like a million bucks, have that energy in your life, 
you know, feeling happier, better about yourself, more confidence. Well, then you got to work out, work on yourself, sleep right, stick to your routines, learn the proper balance, building the discipline. Everything's a cycle, you know, it's all connected in one way or another. So get aligned with doing the things that you know you got to do for yourself, make yourself uh, your future self proud and get these little things under control and it's going to help you tremendously. Okay. Now, if you find that you've been struggling with this though, I would say if you're struggling with this for over six months and you've tried already like different programs, different ways or whatever it may be, and you feel like you're just absolutely stuck and need some like one-to-one -one help or some guidance or whatever it may be, then I would be your guy to help you out doing that. Um, specifically, if you want to break your old habits, build new ones, build new eating patterns, and you want to lose and keep weight off once and for all, then that's exactly what we do here. So we can help you out with your hormones, get that on track, um, and get you back into a routine that's sustainable and finally lose this weight. So if you're interested in that, there is a link there that you can book to uh, get help. It's just a free consultation call. Uh, I like to do it that way just because, you know, we can hop on a call, break down your case. So you can get to know me, ask me questions. I can learn exactly what you need help with and then see if it's a fit or not. And if not, point you in another direction. If it is, awesome, we'll crush this journey. But other than that, either way, whatever you end up doing, make sure you're taking action on your goals. Make sure you're making yourself a priority, making time for yourself, and absolutely crush this journey because it's going to be the best thing you ever do for yourself. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Make it happen. Crush your goals. And I'll see you later.